Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review and here we have the Obadiah Stain and Ironmonger figures here from the Infinity Saga from Marvel Legends. So let's go over to packaging here first. So first you get the Marvel Studios Iron Man 1 logo here, uh, Marvel Legends logo here in the corner, Infinity Saga here in the bottom, Obadiah Stain, Ironmonger. Here is the side art that we've seen before with the other Infinity Saga fi uh, figures. You get the Infinity Saga logo there. Avengers A there. And then here's the back here with the first Iron Man poster there. Here's a description of Ironmonger if you want to pause and read that. And here's a description of Obadiah Stan if you want to pause and read that too. Here's the other side with the art too. And you get that tag there. I got it from Target. Um... And then here's the top here with that Iron Man 1 logo there furnished. Open that stain, Ironmonger. And then here is the bottom here with nothing else besides the DCPI here. But besides that, let's crack these big guys open. And here are the two figures out of the package here. So first let's go over to Obadiah Stain here. So we'll move Ironmonger here off to the side and his accessories. So yeah, first off, we're going to start with the smaller figure here. Let me scoot my stuff up. There you go. All right, so here is Obadiah Stain. So let's go over the accessories first. First, you get this arc reactor piece here that is unplugged. He stole it from Tony Stark in the movie so he can power up the Ironmonger and left Tony there to die on his couch. But Tony found, used the one that Pepper got him in the movie. But yeah, um, I think the arc reactor looks really good. The sculpts look good. Uh, you get this little hook thing there that went inside him. Um, the only problem that I have is probably that little middle piece there where that white is. Looks like it's missing some paint in the circle area there, right in the middle. I like the blue and stuff they used in it. And you just fit this on his uh, in his hand if you want. And yeah, you get that nice gray in there, nice light blue and then white in the center, center. But like I said, Missing a little spots there for painting. And then you get the suitcase here, which I think we've seen before. You can flip it, click it in, and then boom, you can put the arc reactor in there, I think. We'll test it out real quick. Nope, you cannot. It's just a little excess, um, little decorative piece for him if you want to do that. There's nothing in it. It's nice and black. Yeah, not much to it. That's all we got for accessories for Obadiah. So here he is up front. Face sculpts look perfect. Looks just like him in the movie. Get that nice egg head, bald head there. You get that nice white bushy beard that he had in the movie. He looks pissed like he did in the movie also. And he's wearing this black suit. I like the shirt that they did here, the paint job on it. Get the nice light blue lines going down it with a white background and then tie even has a little bit of detailing in there too. If you could see that well, you could definitely see a little bit, there's a little bit of splotch in there on the tie. Like I said, you get that black suit, which we've seen before. I don't like these legs. I don't like the feet either. I wish they gave us the feet that were a little bit wider like uh, Logan's is because it gives us more um stability stability um when you're having it stand up because i can't just put it down like that otherwise he falls down you kind of have to mess with it a little bit just like the tony stark one like the regular one from the mcu and my camera's out of focus there we go so yeah you kind of gotta mess with it a little bit so you can get him to stand up i don't like these feet really for figures like it looks a little weird obviously you get a little bit of a like relaxed hand here for his hand. Focus. There you go. And you get that one hand where he's holding the arc reactor here. So it would be like kind of like that. So yeah, it would be kind of like that. But besides that, uh, you can get a little buck belt there with that nice belt buckle. Just the back. Like I said, don't like these feet. Again, nice matte black throughout the suit. And then you get the shiny black on the shoes. 
but he sits down. Let's go over articulation. So he has a double ball joint head. So you can look down that far. You can look up that far. You can look left and right. It's a little head pivoting there, but you can move it around a bit. Uh, shoulders, I don't like these shoulders really either, but you move out that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. You could tell that this is reused because the pin joints too. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an app crunch, so he can go forward that far. Backwards, not really any because the suit gets in the way. He has a waist roll, 360 rotation around there. Legs can kick out that far, forward that far. Backwards, not. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, still have the pin joints in there. Uh, he has a little shin cut in there. Ankles can hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot and next we have iron monger so let's go over the accessories for this guy first first we get this regular blast effect that we usually come with uh for iron man figures uh you get that nice orange translucent plastic here same mold i think it might be maybe no i think it's the same size as the other figures blast effects wasn't sure if they enlarged it for iron monger because he's bigger but yeah it's just regular same mold so yeah we've seen it before get a little smoke effect there with that nice transparent gray in there a little bit of transparent but they paint a little bit more gray in there and there's this little peg peg hold there i think that's supposed to be like so you can plug that in there so you get two effects in there and you get another peg right here to plug it in um and one of the turrets in his arms which we'll go over here in a bit but yeah that's what it's supposed to look like and then you get this other effect here um, with that little machine gun thing that he has in there. So you get that. You're supposed to just slot it into a slot on this turret as well. I like the gold on it. And you get some nice bullet shells through it. So that's pretty cool. And I like how I think it's supposed to look like it's falling. Like the bullet shells are falling down, I think. So that's pretty cool. And then you get two hands here. So here's a relaxed hand kind of for him or grabbing hand. I think this is supposed to be a grabbing hand when you're like making it look like he's grabbing Iron Man's head. So yeah, and yeah, I like the sculpt on these hands actually. And I like the met like the hammered gray metal paint that they used on it. Like you don't see any marbling on it. It's not marbling, it's just like it's the type of paint that they used on it that makes it look hammered or like heavy metal. I wish they kind of added a little bit of detail in here and the repulsors for this guy. But besides that, the sculpt on this ha this hand here is awesome. Now here's the other one. So this one's like a relaxed hand or a repulsing hand if you want to use it like that. So yeah. And you can also get the, like you could see the hinges in there too. They did a really good job on the sculpting and paint job for this figure. See that, that's pretty cool. And then uh, here is Ironmonger up front here. So I do have the older one uh, where you could switch, like you could flip the head out or it has Obadiah's head in there, but there's like a piece for the actual headpiece and in the center that flips open, but mine kind of broke, but I will still bring it out for a comparison. It's not broken, broken, but it's like, it doesn't want to stay latch closed. So yeah, but let's go over the figure here. So yeah. Like I said, the, throughout the figure, you get this nice gray hammered metal look throughout the figure. You have these turrets here on this wrist here. So you get some nice yellow and red missiles in there. You get a little, little bit of a shinier gray here for the gears or biceps. And you get that little pulley system there. It's not an actual pulley system, but it's sculpted like that. I wish it was kind of pulley. And then there's that little peg hole in the machine here, machine gun. So yeah, you just plug that in there like that. Here's the bolts that just go into the turrets. And then there, it should be a slot. Yep, there's the slot. So I'll show you how to put that in here in a second. You get that little red nut here for like a laser sight. I like the sculpt for the machine gun. You get two fisted hands here too for Ironmonger. Get that white arc reactor here. I wish, oh, that's pretty cool. So there's a clear plastic in here actually. So you don't, it's not actually, it, well, 
inside the plastic clear plastic here it is divid in there but right here this is clear plastic so i didn't recognize that geez that's pretty cool and then here is the back here you get more pulley systems here the shoulders are pretty cool too you get some sculpted in holes you get some more shiny silver here in the back here's the back here with some more shiny silver here's the feet with that cool look yeah also that's this is an actual pulley i think nope never mind i take them back it's not i wish it was that would be pretty smart of them to do that but then again it would probably break and then you hear in the like inner growing here, you, you get some wiring and stuff in there. You get some more silver, uh, like shiny silver and then knees. It's awesome. I love this figure already. And then here's the helmet too. So yeah, the, the helmet's really cool. You get the white eyes, you get the black mouth in there. But yeah. So let's go over to articulation for this guy. So his head has, I think, a double ball joint. So you can look down that far. You can look up a bit. It kind of hinges, I think it's a disc ball hinge for him. I'm not quite sure. So you can look up that far. You can look left and right kind of. Some head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out past 90 degrees. You can do a 360 rotation around there. And also, oh. So, yeah. You can take these off if you want. But I like them on because it just doesn't look complete. But it's a swivel right here on his shoulder. Stay clicked. So yeah, you can swivel it if you want, but it's not wanting to stay on there, so I'd be careful with that. Oh, it twists. All right, let me fix that real quick. So yeah, this little piece right here wants to twist. So yeah, if you want to just put that, plug that back in there. Oh, I took the whole entire thing off. Oh, so yeah, you can take that off if you want. So yeah, there's a little slot here. You can accidentally just take that off if you want. I thought it was supposed to stay on there. I thought I broke it for a second. I was like, oh crap. But no, thank God. <laughs> because this figure's awesome. I didn't want to break it. So yeah, like I said, this piece is detachable. And then as that little plug-in thing there, just plug it right back in. That's nice. And then you also get a bicep swivel right here. Single jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far, 360 rotation there. It has a hip um, ball joint there, so you can go forward that far, backwards that far. Yeah, you can not really go side to side that well, but you can do 360 around there. Legs, uh, you don't really get much mobility out that way, but you can kick forward quite a bit. Backwards, actually a decent amount there, but I wouldn't do that. Thigh cut there, single jointed knees, and then our ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and a little ankle pivot in there to give it a little bit of balance. And then for the plugging in the accessories pieces here, so like I said, use this, plug it in for that arm there, get that little smoke effect there, and then there's a slot here on the top of the turret. Just grab this. And plug it in just whoops if I can do it should like snap on there you go just like that and then boom that's what it looks like there and now let me grab my other figure here quick FYI before I go grab them actually there is a little bit of a pulley system right here so be careful actually don't do what I did I mean it's not broken you can definitely slide it back in somehow I will figure it out after I'm done with the video I think I think I'll just try to figure it out right on camera and then so I'll take this off so it's not in my way. Um I think you kinda wanna just do it at the same time kind of. Or maybe twist it a little bit and plug it in close at the same time. Or maybe Because there's got to be some way to get back in. It did, it did the same thing on the other side, FY. So yeah, definitely want to be careful when you're doing this shoulder movement, actually. 
because I didn't realize that I actually did something. And then I realized there's ball joints in there. So you could actually probably just pop them out and just plug it back in. But yeah, it's kind of, kind of difficult. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you could kind of bend it and kind of slide it back in if you wanted to. It's a little difficult, but yeah, there's that. That's a little uh, weird, I guess. But still, it's pretty cool that they added that in for a little bit of extra detail. So that's pretty nice of them. It is just a little difficult to put it back in. But I think if you're really into detail, you won't have that big of a problem. Especially if you're just going to have this guy displayed mainly. But like I said, you do want to be careful if you're going to try to mess with the shoulder. Because then you don't want to accidentally like bend it. Because if you want to put them back in, you don't want to overdo it with the bending of the actual piece. Which is what I'm a little scared of at the moment, because I don't want to snap it. There we go. Boom. All better. So yeah, like I said, be careful with that. Otherwise, it'll just pop right out. But I think what you should do if it does is just kind of bend it. Not too much to the point it will snap. But yeah, let me go grab the actual figure now. So here is the Infinity Saga Ironmonger next to the older version of it. So yeah, way bigger. Re definitely recommend getting them. And this one is kind of cool because you could just flip it open. I have it taped because it does not want to be weird. And sorry about the coloring. My sister and brother like to mess with my crap. So they like to ruin them sometimes, which is kind of annoying. But oh well. Because now I got a new Ironmonger that will be in the display with Obadiah Stain, which is right here. And I don't have the Mark III Iron Man yet. It got delayed for right now. But it should be here hopefully before the 27th. Hopefully. And then I can do that. But for just that motion, I think I'll just use Mark um, 6, I believe. The one with the triangular arc reactor. But yeah, so yeah, I do highly recommend you get these two figures. The, this little two-pack here for the Infinity Saga of Obadiah Stain and Ironmonger. Because you get a really nice articulation with that and details. This is cool. Like, Obadiah is a cool add in there. I think that's a nice... I mean, it's pretty smart to do that if you want to do stop motion. And just have him, like, look like he's plugging in the arc reactor in there. Or he's still in the arc reactor from Tony Stark. Uh, I wish they did do a figure for Tony Stark when he did have the arc reactor in him still. Um, but yeah, oh well. Um, but still, highly recommend getting this because this guy's massive. He has great articulation. The detailing on it is awesome. So yeah, like I said, go get him if you find him. He's pretty hard. They're pretty hard to find right now. I know that uh, for sure. But if you do see him. Like, don't waste a second to not grab him. Like, don't, do not not grab him. Grab him. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's all I got for him. Um, make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description uh, for my Twitch, uh, TikTok, and Instagram, and PayPal. If you want to help donate, that would be very helpful and appreciated. But besides that, thanks for watching.